Hi everyone. Welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today we are going to discuss how to write materials and methods section of the manuscript. So uh, today I'm going to discuss the specific part that is materials and methods section although I made videos on how to write title of our manuscript, how to write abstract introduction of the manuscript. I have explained all those components by giving examples of my own research article. Before we discuss the topic, I want to request that if uh, you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, then press the like button. You can also support me on uh, patreon.com. I'll, I'll post the link of my Patreon website in the description box. So whenever you perform a specific experiment, there are three important component of that experiment. Component number one is the instrument. Component number two is the chemical or the supplies. Component number three is the protocol. So when you write the materials and method section of your manuscript, you need to focus on these three components very precisely. So we're going to discuss all three components one by one. So let's discuss component number one, which is instrument. An instrument is the device that is used during the experiment to collect the data as well as uh, some time uh, to analyze the data. Uh, if you are taking an example of a micro dilution uh, method using a micro titer plate, so you will need a ELISA reader or uh, generally you will uh, you will require a plate reader so what plate reader uh, will uh, will do it is going to take optical density measurements of your bacterial culture and it's going to tell you that how your bacteria is growing under the concentration of the antimicrobial agent so if you're using a plate reader so in this case you might be using a specific plate reader from a specific company so in materials and methods section, you have to mention the model number and the name of the company that is going to help all the researchers that are trying to reproduce your experiment. So it is really important that you mention the details of the instrument. So that point uh, mentioned the importance of the instrument uh, and the details of the instrument. Second important point is the supplies or the chemicals or the reagents that you're going to use. So whenever you use a particular reagent, for example, in this case, you're going to use antibiotics or antimicrobial agents that you want to test, uh, right? So you need to mention the made and you need to mention the item number. So when you see that particular product, you're going to see that there will be uh, the catalog number of that particular chemical mentioned on that particular vial. So you need to specifically give the details of those chemical compounds that you are testing. Protocol is the third important part of the materials and method section. In protocol, you need to mention what are the different different steps that you have followed. For example, how much uh, uh, the incubation time for the bacterial cultures and how long you have incubated what is the temperature so these are the important critical parameters that you need to mention in that protocol the idea of materials and method is so that someone else who is trying to follow the protocol should reproduce your protocol so the idea is to provide all the necessary details so basically these three things are the most important points in materials and method section of the manuscript. You need to mention the details of the instrument. What is the model number? What is the company of the instrument? Second, you need to mention the details of the supplies. For example, the materials that you have used in the experiment. It can be a chemical, it can be a solvent, it can be a compound that you have used in the experiment. Third important part is the protocol that how you have followed your experiment and how you have achieved those results. So 
when you write all those things in a documented format that becomes the material and method section of your manuscript all right so that was the basic information that you can use to write the materials and method section of your manuscript and uh, always pay attention to the details because details are really important while you're writing materials and method section i want to raise a very important point here is you can write a lengthy material and method section and put that material and method section in the supplementary uh, section of the manuscript so if someone wants to reproduce your experiment then uh, he or she can go to the supplementary section and then download the file because most of the time supplementary section of the manuscript uh, allows you to add uh, like uh, huge data files and it doesn't have a limit but in case of the main manuscript text you have a specific word limit so i would suggest you use the supplementary uh, section of the manuscript and provide all the details for the materials and method section of your manuscript so please stay tuned to the channel and if you're new to the channel i request you to subscribe to the channel uh, that will uh, encourage me to make more videos thank you and take care